the Maruti Jimny is one of the most capable 4x4s four in the country and an SUV that you can live with very easily. That's mostly because of the narrow size of the vehicle but this is also a shortcoming in terms of a lot of buyers in the market. A lot of people think that the Jimny doesn't have the kind of macho appeal, the kind of road presence they would want in a 4x4 four four. and hence this iteration from Bimra. Now, Bimra has to be one of the best names in the Indian automotive industry when it comes to modifying any SUV. They have a complete list of add-ons for the Thar, for the Gypsy, for the Jimny, for the V-Cross, for the Hilux and the list goes on and on. In the past, I've shown you their modified Thar on my channel and the love from you guys has been immense and this time around, I think an exclusive deco at what could be the most practically modified Jimny in the Indian market. A lot of things have been done externally internally and mechanically yes there are mechanical changes in the vehicle as well so in this detailed walkthrough video i'll run you through all the add-ons that this jimny has including the driving experience because the tires are different there's a lift in the suspension so from that point of view do the tires and the new suspension affect the handling the ride there is also a small thing that could aid a throttle response what is that well everything coming up in this video do not go anywhere Now the stock Jimny has an impressive approach angle in terms of the short overhang but this one is even better. These are in-house bumpers from Bimbra. They are FRP, they are lightweight, you can also have them in metal and they have a proper Linex treatment around over here which is very usual when you are in bushes or around trees. The Linex definitely helps. They have the stock washers for the headlamp that is retained. Uh, a new set of uh, fog lamps coming over here. A couple of uh, tow hooks, very very important when you, when you are stuck or you want to help someone who is stuck in uh, the uh, unknown trails. The overall, I told you, approach angle has gone up massively and this is a lifted Jimny. These are from Japan, Panabe, they are adjustable. So there is a proper lift in the vehicle plus you can adjust the suspension right now it's on the softer side. Look at this, it's on the softer side for a daily ride quality but of course you can adjust them right from over here to make them firmer as well. Apart from this, on the side profile, by the way, the entire, all the panels, these panels are uh, completely treated in uh, Linex, very, very helpful to avoid scratches. You have extra lights coming in over here. You can see the LED bar on the top. You can see the LED lights on either side of the bonnet, uh, not to be used on a daily situation, only to be used at night when you're exploring the trails. The covers are there in the boot. I'll cover them up when I hit the road again. Alloy wheels, you have spaces over here, alloy wheels along with none other than Maxxis tyres, very very famous, these Maxxis 980s are very popular, very famous with Jimny owners in India. So these tyres will definitely aid you in terms of your off-roading, I will not be doing any off-roading, it's a customer's car, it's the owner's car actually, I will not be doing any off-roading but the spaces definitely give the Jimny a better stance when it's moving or when it's static. Coming in over here, you have these things to basically protect the body from stones. Uh, the Jimny of course has a very good uh, rock crawling capability but if the stones come on the way on the side this is very very helpful. It has the Bimra branding. On the side this bleeding runs across the length of the car. These things simply add a bit of muscle, this bit of weight and macho appeal to the vehicle. At the back this is a new spoiler. It looks very sportish like something we see on sports cars but definitely gels in very well. Uh, by, the by the way, uh, Bimta will make four different iterations of the roof rack. One of those you can see right now on this particular vehicle. Very useful to put on more luggage or your fuel tanks in case you're going to Ladakh, for example. This alloy wheel remains as it is. No cover for this. Looks definitely nice. This part, uh, it has sort of a practical appeal. You can actually climb this and stack up your uh, luggage or your fuel tanks on the top of the roof. Uh, again, made in-house has the Linex treatment. The rear bumper is stock but the lights are changed. They do look jazzy, they do look nice and there is also a tow hook at the rear as well. So up front or at the back you have the arrangement to basically winch yourself out or pull someone out of a mess. Rear profile, uh, Bimra branding over here. Again grips to basically climb up and to see what is happening on the roof to put your stuff or uh, stuff out. And again the stone protectors on the side. 
and a neatly arranged and neatly made snorkel. Mm -hmm. It has a finish of the body color, the red over here. Mm -hmm. uh, snorkel very, very helpful for your water wading or even to get you clean and colder air inside the engine. The engine, by the way, it is stock. The suspension is lifted. The tires are different. A lot of add-ons over here and also the grill. Bimra can make this grill in two colors. One is the matte you see over here, the matte black, and the second can match the color of your car. This also has a PPF ceramic coating, I'm told, and that is why a slightly better color it is being seen right now under the sun and away from the sun, the clouds are here now. So overall, on the outside, one of the limitations with the Jimny was that it is very appealing, but with this one, you will agree, it now looks far more muscular and far more appealing. On the inside, your second space, there are a lot of changes. What are they? Let's find out. Now, like the outside or even on the inside, the color theme is red and black. These are the stock interiors of the Jimny, but with ample red inserts. The red inserts can be seen on the steering wheel, on the side AC vents, on the doors, and of course, the new upholstery as well. You also have extra amount of thigh padding coming over here. This was missing in the original Jimny, so extra thigh padding, very, very helpful for your long journeys. The issue is with the new covers, the seats are, you sit approximately one inch higher up and the seats, they are not height adjustable. Even the driver's seat is not height adjustable. So this, this thing can actually fall in, foul into your thighs like this. So the steering is currently on the highest position. The seat cannot be taken down. So one issue, if you are tall like me, this could be a hindrance while driving the Jimny. Apart from this, a uh, lot of practical and useful add-ons. You have a phone holder over here. Uh, again, not to be used to distract you, but it can be useful in certain situations. You have a bottle holder on the right side in front of the AC vent. You also have this small display which can show you a lot of things including the elevation and the angle of the vehicle. The steering, I told you, has the red inserts. Uh, the full carpeting has been done which can also lead to a better NBS level. You can see the carpets over here and on the side as well. Also lends the Jimny a slightly more premium appeal on the inside. One more huge plus point, you have a sizable armrest over here and if you open the armrest, you have some kind of storage space and the buttons for the LED bars on, on the uh, up front, on the bonnet and at the rear. There's a one LED bar rear as well. So this is useful, it's practical, you're out uh, doing a night trail in forest with your friends, the extra lights will definitely come handy and for long trips, this is useful. Now apart from this, it's got the uh, wind booster uh, throttle controller small device kept over here it basically fools the engine and uh, three driving mode including sport mode to get slightly better throttle response this is the automatic version and uh, after a few seconds i'll hit the road to tell you about the throttle response and of course the ride quality because of the lift and the tires that is coming up very soon on the channel on the video sorry i'll do one thing i'll go at the back and show you some changes made in the second row as well at the back, uh, there is an issue with the Jimny that the stock Jimny doesn't have any kind of door pads. You can't even keep a bottle or a purse. So that is why the organizers come at the back. The seat organizers on both the uh, seats. Of course, if you're tall, two people, one behind the other, this will fall into your knee space. But otherwise, very useful, very practical for long trips. Again, the seat covers have the new effect and full carpet on the lower part definitely will improve the NVS levels. That is important because these new tires could lead to road noise. I'll discuss in a while. All right, uh, on the driving part, uh, first of all, the tires, they are not uh, road tires. They are meant for a purpose off-roading. So because of that, the steering effort has gone up slightly. No two ways about it. Even the stock Jimny has a heavy steering and this one is no different. Now, I do agree that the Jimny suffers from uh, outright acceleration, but there is a wind booster control it's got different uh, modes the normal the eco the drag the race the race plus and uh, i don't have my gps equipment right now to tell you if it makes a difference but when i'm switching definitely gives me a sense of extra power coming i'm the sport plus now i think there is a small difference uh, the reason it's also popular this is not a turbo engine it's a any or a naturally aspirated engine that is what you can use uh, this is on the softer side the uh, tanabe suspension right now it's adjustable of course and uh, i drove the car since morning in gurgaon for a good hour and uh, overall feedback is not bad it's got the roll but speed breaker it's comfortable as well the rear does not jump 30 kmps speed breaker the absorption of this pumps was pretty nice on a normal speed breaker the stock car if you go slightly faster the rear will 
jump. It will not have proper time for a proper damping and rebound. This is taking care of that. Uh, the windows, they are from Nexar, known for their uh, slightly tint feel. The UV cut glasses helps a lot for the AC. Uh, I would have loved a free pipe. Exhaust load is important. Uh, that comes up in the green uh, Jimny very soon. But for now, it's completely stock apart from the fooling the ECU tuning. Uh, that seems to work. I'll take a U-turn and slow moving traffic. I'll tell you if that helps or not. One more speed breaker coming up just to show you the amount of travel and the quickness of the suspension. Definitely better. The steering has more effort. Lock to lock, it is not fouling. So that is not an issue. These tires will not foul with the body and pedal to metal, 40, 50, 60. The Jimny takes its own sweet time, but this is meant to be a monster of the road and it delivers. The green Jimny will tell you more about the winnings that the driver has done with the Jimny uh, coming very soon. Uh, I told you the seat height has, had, seat height has gone up by inch because of the new foaming. Uh, I really wish there was a adjustable uh, feature for the driver's seat. It is not present over there. The car is higher. It's a lift kit. So you do tower over other bikes on the road. Very important for that important SV feel. Some people, wa people want the ego massaging position of the driver's seat. This one is now doing that as compared to the normal Jimny. So you sit higher up. Your visibility becomes better and because you know your approach angle is better, your ground crew is better, you can go with more confidence into the unknown rocks, trails, you can do that. A high speed ride. So, roll here, I will not say no. Definitely has roll but that is automatic when you have a lift kit. Once again, you can adjust that. I completely forgot the Tanabe from Jap Japan, you can adjust the suspension so that roll will be taken care of. Also because of the extra padding and the carpeting coming in over here, the NVS levels have improved. So road noise is really well under control. I thought these tires would be noisy. I'm at 65, 70 right now. They are not noisy at all. The road noise is not creeping into the cabin. The wind noise is not creeping into the cabin. Only the engine noise is over there. It's an automatic, so the engine noise is there. but so this carpeting looks nice, gives you a premium feel and also makes the cabin a very silent place to be. So there you go, heavily modified Jimny from Wimbra 4x4. By the way, we have one more Jimny coming up on my channel. It's a green one with even more add-ons in terms of the mechanical changes. That video drops very soon and to get a notification, super simple, do subscribe and hit the bell icon for that important notification. In the end, I've covered all the changes once again in the description section below, the exteriors and the interiors, along with the proper company name. Plus, you want to contact Vibra 4x4 for any kind of item for your Jimny or the V-Cross or the Hilux or the Gypsy or the Thar. The contact number is there as well. For now, it's been a great day with what is actually a very capable Jimny, now looks more muscular and is slightly more capable. The snorkel does add a bit of that road coming in. Hear this out. But it's only around this area. It's not too loud on the road. If you're passing other people, they will hardly get to hear this.